Good evening YouTube, this is Brew by Me doing another review tonight. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing the Mill Street Extra Special Bitter. It's in their winter seasonal pack. It's 4.6 ABV. They're out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Our multiple award winning ESB is a traditional British pale ale brewed with English for malted pale ale, malt and hops. The resulting copper hued beauty is a beguiling balance of flavors that make they had a classic hard side pint. Sweetness, your standard Mill Street glass. It has a nice picture. I'm using a different Mill Street, Mill Street Brewery glass. I can't wait. The uh, Mill Street Brewery is opening up uh, in Ottawa in January. I just can't wait to go there. They're going to be brewing specialty beers there and then they're going to have regulars and stuff like that. Anyhow, my BB Bafla. Thanks to Brian at bbbafla.com. Um, thanks for sending me this. This is awesome, man. I love it. It's a long time waiting. So, the first beer. Here we go. Let's give her a pour. Alright, she's done. Alright, so there's been lots of talk about this Mill Street Brewery opening up here in Ottawa and it's uh, it's going to be awesome. They actually, even the um, the IKEA here uh, just opened their huge 400,000 square foot store and they got a liquor license and Mill Street's going to be there. So that's going to be awesome. Anyway, Amber, copper in color, nice carbonation as you can see, a little bit of a head, not too much, uh, finger. Anyhow, let's give her a smell, see what we get. Hmm. Right off the nose, I get sweetness, maltiness. Um, a little bit of bitterness. Uh, kind of the bitterness is like a floral bouquet. Um, I'm assuming it's the hops they use. Anyway, that's all I'm getting off the nose, really. Anyhow, I like I like I like special bitters. So let's see what this tastes like. Hmm. Interesting. All right. First initial sip to get the sweetness, you get the maltiness. A slight, slight toastiness probably from the the, the crystal malt or the caramel malt they're using. I've been letting it warm up a little bit because uh, it was downstairs in the downstairs fridge and the downstairs fridge is like minus three so um, so I let it warm up a bit to try and see what flavors I can get out of it so I'm working on it right now okay. So like I said, sweetness on the front of the tongue, the bitterness hits you right in the middle of the tongue. And then you get the uh, the, the bouquet of the uh, hops and the, the carbonation at the back of your throat. Um, I'm getting a little bit of uh, chocolate. Not too much, a slight bit of chocolate.
uh, fruit, like um, uh, what are those damn things called? Little black things, kind of looks like um, blueberries, currants. That's what it is. I'm getting some black currant. And that's about it for the uh, the taste. Um, seeing it's a Mill Street brewery, they're probably they're probably going with a, the traditional ESB. So I'm assuming they're going to use Maris Otter malt, which is uh, Europe's uh, two row pale malt. And um, excuse me. And for the hops, I'm going to say. Uh, East Kent Golding and Fugles. Uh, see, and they're popular uh, bitter, uh, bittering hops uh, to make uh, extra special bitters and stuff like that. Um, anyhow, I smelt it, I sniffed it, I told you what I thought, I tasted it. I also told you what I thought. <clears throat> it is a fairly, it's a, it's a, a decent ESB, but. Uh, you know, it's not one of the best ESBs I've had, but whatever. Um, it's worth a try. If you can find it, give it a whirl. If not, oh well, there's other ESBs you can try. Uh, the uh, Fuller's uh, Extra Special Bitter is probably one of the tops of my list at the, the best, the best uh, special bitters there is, but this is not bad. It's decent. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Cheers. Until next time, Brew by Me is out. Thank you.